Welcome to another video of Engineeringly in which we will discuss how to prepare project dashboards using Microsoft Excel. There are other videos in the Microsoft Excel playlist of this YouTube channel in which we have prepared project dashboards using different methods. For example, pivot charts and pivot tables. One thing different in this video is preparing a list of your delayed activities. You can do the same for your in-progress activities and your completed activities. For example, if I go to Project Details, and in here, I will change the status of this activity to delayed. What I am going to do is, I will make the actual date a date later than the planned date. So I will make the actual start date 19th of June 2022. And as you can see, the activity status is delayed. Moreover, if I come to Dashboard and from here, I remove this filter and only apply the delayed the activity will be automatically added here. Besides that, all the charts here will be updated. There are a number of methods to prepare a table for your activities which are in progress, delayed, or maybe completed. In this video, we will talk about preparing the list using a filter. Besides that, you will learn how to prepare a Gantt chart using the stacked boards and the charts in here. So let's get started. First, we will begin with the Gantt charts and we will use the same data that we have used for the other dashboard. In order to prepare the Gantt chart, we will change these dates, the planned start date, to numbers. Go to Home, from here we will change them to General. Once you do this, select the activity name and the planned start date. Besides that, hold the Control key and select the durations as well. Once that is done, go to Insert and from here select the bar charts and select the 2D stacked bars. Once the chart is created, make sure to change these numbers back to short dates. Once that is done, we will cut this chart from this sheet and paste it in our new dashboard sheet. The first activity of the project is listed at the bottom here. In order to bring it to the top, right click on the axis, format axis and from here we will select categories in reverse order. Once this is done, we will remove the legend from here. Besides that, we will remove the fill of the blue bars here. We will click the bars, go to fill and line, and here we will select no fill. Next thing is to bring the Gantt chart for the first activity a bit closer to the activity. As you can see in here, the start date is taken as 9th of April 2022. But our project starts at 12th of June 2022. Now, in order to make this date as 12th of June, what we will do is, in here, we will write 12th of June 2022. And then, I will change this date to General. Once that is done, I will right-click on this axis and format axis. The minimum value right now is 44,660, while our start date is 44,724. So I will make this 44,724. Drag the Gantt chart to the right to make it look bigger, and we will change the chart title to Project Gantt Chart. take this title to the left here and I will remove these lines from here moreover I will make this area snow fill and I will remove the border line the Gantt chart is prepared next thing in our dashboard is to prepare these donut charts in here the activity status is shown number of completed activities number of in progress activities and number of activities that are not started yet in order to calculate their numbers, I'll create a new sheet here. In here, I will write down number of completed activities. And next is in progress. And the last one is not started. We will use the information in our project details in order to obtain those numbers. In order to obtain their numbers, I will use the COUNTIF function. For the completed, I'll write down equal sign COUNTIF. We will select the range and comma, we will give the criteria, which is completed. 
close the parenthesis and enter. Three of our activities are completed. For the in progress, I will do the same thing. I will copy this and paste it here. And the only thing that I'm going to change about this is to change our criteria to in progress. And for not started, again, I will copy this and paste it in here. And I will change the criteria to not started. And press enter. Once this is done, I will select all of the data, go to insert, and from here I will select the pie chart, and from there I will select the donut chart. I will cut this chart and paste it in our dashboard sheet. Let's make the size of this chart a bit smaller and remove the legend and in the chart title I will write down activity status and I will take it to the left here. Moreover, I will remove the fill and the borderline from this area. I will select no fill and no line. I will add the data labels to this right click and in add data labels Next, I will format these data labels. I will click on the data labels and go to Format Data Labels and we will select the category name. The separator for this one should be the new line. And you can move the data labels to the right and the left wherever you like them. The same method could be followed for the next donut chart. The only difference is that we have a different range and different types of criteria for that. For the total percentage completed, I have used a shape here. Go to insert and from there we will insert the shape that we like and draw the shape here. You can format the shape and change its outline, for example the outline color and the outline weight. Besides that you can change the fill from here. And in order to have the same value that we have in this one, we will click the shape in the function bar, I will write down equal to, go to project details. Down in the project details here, I have the total percentage completed for the project and press enter. Now in here, I will bring this text to the middle and to the center and can increase the size of the text and the color as well maybe. For the last part of our dashboard, I will write down the delayed activities. For the delayed activities, in this cell I will write down the equal sign and I will go to project details and click the first cell which contains the name of the activity. Press enter. And then I will drag it until there is no activity left. Our last activity is the site mobilization. Next, in this cell I will write down the equal sign and go to project details and select the first cell. Now I will drag it up to the last activity here. Next thing is to select all this data and go to sort and filter and click filter. Now since we don't want to see these on our dashboard, I will change their color to white. Next thing is to click here and select only delayed. Click OK. So this is how you can prepare a dashboard for your project Gantt chart, the overall percentage completed, the activity status, and any other thing that you want to add here. Besides that, you can have a list of your delayed activities, for example, list of your in-progress activities, and any other types of activities. I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and visit our Instagram and LinkedIn pages. Thank you very much for watching.